Hello everybody, how are you doing? Great, I hope. I'm doing pretty good myself. So, um, yeah, I haven't seen you for a little while. Um, I wasn't exactly uploading many videos during the TT for one reason or another. It wasn't the weather terrible. In fact, here we are um, a month later and uh, the weather's still pretty grim. What's all this global warming business all about, eh? Um, don't get me started on climate change. Yeah, the climate is changing, but it's been changing since the year dot. Anyway, um, here we are on the 3rd of July, Wednesday the 3rd of July, less than a week now till this event. On the photograph, of course, it's the Southern 100 on the Balloon Circuit. Um, Colas Southern 100, great event. Um, if you haven't been before, it's special because it's a mass start. Um, riders numbers are limited in each class uh, for safety reasons, of course. So they all have to qualify to take part. So some might get to the Isle of Man might practice might not qualify for the races is the risk they take but quite often will be a consolation race and um, they might just be permitted to go ahead and try and get something finish his award get a few quid to take home i'll talk about some of the prize money um during this video but as far as programs go, yeah, the Southern 100 uh, 2024 program is now out. It's available online, but also it's available on the ferry if you're coming over. It's in the Welcome Centre at the Sea Terminal in Douglas. And also, um, I picked mine up at s, &S Motors in Castletown today, right uh, quite near to the start of the Southern 100 circuit um, and available in shops generally in the south of the island but it should be appearing in other places tesco's and the likes as well it's 10 quid 10 quid's quite a lot of money but it's uh, not only a souvenir for yourselves there's a lot of information in there and it helps the club so if it helps the club it helps the riders helps with everything the organization the insurance all sorts of things really equipment necessary for the club and of course we couldn't do it without all the marshals so if you have time when you're over pop into the clubhouse and see uh, if they need any extra marshals at any of the um, circuit places vantage points or anything like that around the circuit where they're a little bit short of marshals Okay, so one of the things I've noticed um, in the program, in the sidecars particularly, um, none of the crow, the crow boys are double TT sidecar winners this year. They did really well, Ryan and Callum Crow, that's Nick's boys of course. Um, it would have been great to see them. And also with Dave Molyneux retiring from the TT um, seems like well i would have liked to have seen him in the southern 100 doing his farewell too because he used to race in the southern 100 many many years ago and he he did he sort of evolved his career as well through the southern 100 but i don't think well he certainly not entered but there we are um we got ben birchall um and we got a couple of uh locals um well two sidecar outfits and um, the gale boys and then we've got darren hope and his passenger as well so uh, let's hope the locals get a good run just show you this shot here um do you recognize who it is well number one should be easy enough to recognize that's Michael Dunlop, of course. And then number two, yeah, you're right again, Guy Martin. Wouldn't it be great to see Guy Martin back, well, in the TT, yeah, but of course on the Southern 100 as well, where 
you know, he used to go go really well. Um, and of course, Michael Dunlop's here, but he'll be number six as usual. Um, I would like to see Michael in the 250s with his Honda two-stroke, but that's not going to happen. I mean, he's got a 600s. He's got the 1,000cc Blake machine. Uh, not Blake, Hawk. Hawk machine. So, um, again, after his results in the TT this year, 29 wins now, um, he is looking good. Like, you know, this is going to be... Perhaps this year, 2024, in the majority of events he takes part in. So I was looking through the, the regulations um, for the event. And, um, you know, eligibility, for instance. So the Southern um, 100 races, they're open to riders who are 18 years of age or over and who hold a current national license issued by the ACU, SACU, or the MCUI. Holders of an MCUI license must have start permission that confirms the rider has medical and repatriation insurance for the event. I'm not sure exactly what those um, letters mean, um, MCUI. If you know, leave it in the comments below because I'm sure it would uh, make me understand it, but also anyone else as well that likes to know. Um, entries and entry fees. Um, a race entry fee. First solo race entered is £200. Each additional race is another £60. All the sidecar races per crew is £340. And then the solo championships and 600 challenge by invitation, the entry free, the entry is free for that, those races. Um, you can even uh, pay your entry fee by PayPal now as well. So limits you know when you come to the southern hundred um to take part to race it doesn't guarantee you're going to get that race you have to qualify so to do that um all up to 45 entries let's let's just explain um the limits as well of the entries so up to 45 entries will be accepted in all solo races however only 30 riders are permitted to start what's happening to the other 15 now, let's see these will be made up of the fastest 26 riders in qualifying plus four more riders nominated by the club. So the club will decide um, on the ones that didn't quite make the qualification um, needs. Uh, the clubs will decide if, yeah, let's give them a go and they'll nominate four more riders. Then in the sidecar classes, up to 26 entries will be accepted. However, you're not going to see 26 entries on the road in any race. Only 18 riders will be allowed to start. These will be made up of the fastest 16 and two nominated by the club. So competitors will be notified by email on or before the 8th of June or whether they've been accepted or not and once a competitor commences practice they are deemed to have forfeited their entry fee even if they don't qualify for that race the TT as well of course you've got to really qualify in that um, to be uh, eligible um, it's a safety issue I think as well um, 
prize money. Now you can guarantee if you play tennis or you play golf or other sports like that, football, don't even talk about football, um, you're not going to get prize money and awards like they get, of course. But um, race one, for instance, uh, you come first, you get 500 quid. Race two, you get 500 quid. Race three, 500. Race four, A, 500. Race five, 600. Six, A, race is 600. Race eight is 900. Race 10, 600. Race 11, 3,500. And race 12, 2,200. Now, what is race 11 and 12 with that bigger prize money? Well, race 11, that's the solo championship race the ellen van you know, blah blah ellen van and fuels um solo championship who have we got in that who's likely going to be going home with that three and a half thousand quid davy todd dominic herbertson mike brown paul cassidy castleton man he's been going well he went well in the tt as well and then we got Dean Harrison at number five and, of course, number six, Michael Dunlop. can be anybody's race, of course, but um, that's where the money is, is to be made in the solo championship. Race 12, um, 2,200, we've got the sidecar, Daryl Blake Construction Sidecar Championship race. Will it be Pete Fowns, Wayne Lockie, Tony Baker, Ben Birchall, Darren Hope, the local young man? So, yeah, there's, um, there's some class in these races on the Southern 100. Um, I think that solo championship, solos uh, race, that's, that's going to be something pretty special. You know, I'd like to see Dean Harrison win. I'd like to see Davy Todd win. I'd like to see Michael Dunlop win. Um, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? But um, going back to the prize money, um, going prize money down to 10th place. Yeah, so um, going down to 10th place, prize money ranges from 80 quid to 100 quid, basically. Um, actually, no, it's 175 in um, race 11. That's a championship solo. It's not a lot, um, but when you think about the total prize money or the total prize fund for this event, £38,695. And of course, this is why they depend on people buying the programmes and... Uh, Supporting the Southern 100 um, for the event to continue, really, and for the riders, of course, who want to come and take part. Um, I'll, I don't know if you can, how can we do this? There's a, um, see the, the code there. So that is actually the code for the, um, let me make sure uh to, for the live timing and then uh qualifying and race results i'll put a copy of this at the end so if you scan it hopefully uh if you can't get a program for some reason um you'll be able to see the live timing on the event i hope i remember if I don't remember, leave a comment and say, hey, you were going to leave the live timing code. Please do it. Um, anything else that you'd like to know about the Southern or what's going on on the Isle of Man? What you think of the event and things like that? Just just please tell me. And um, I'm always interested to know what your thoughts are. And hopefully I'm going to have some videos for you. 
um not not just me talking um yeah and i just want the weather to be good you know so that the event can go ahead safely um and we don't want any accidents we don't want like last year when tragic tragedy struck quite early on and the event eventually was cancelled um also um i'll put in uh, at the end of this video uh i've been talking about race number one race number nine race number five so that you'll understand uh, what those numbers refer to super sports solo championships side cars so i'll add the um pictures um near the end or at the end so that's about it really um uh if you're coming have a safe journey if you're coming via Haitian, you'll be on the nice new manxman boat hopefully that it's uh going well there was a point when we were advised to bring a bag of tools with us when we traveled on the ferries <laughs> the steam bag of ferries uh, with the inevitable breakdowns but latterly it's been weather now of course with the new terminal in liverpool further up the river we got problems with uh, the tides and of course the depth of water so that's the Mananan doing the Liverpool runs whatever boat you're on uh, or whether you're flying in but whatever you're traveling on have a safe journey uh, may the sea crossing be smooth for you um, and uh, enjoy the racing bring some decent weather with you just in case anyway so uh take care everyone and um i'll be seeing you here during next week okay bye for now so